is way too tight. Okay. Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me video. For today's look, I think I'm gonna do a pink eye and a nude, nudish lip. I haven't done a pink uh, eye makeup look in a really long time. Yeah, I'm gonna be using a lot of new products that I recently got just because I want to try it out. Okay then, let's get started. I heard a lot of people using this Makeup Forever Step 1 primer. I've seen a lot of YouTubers using the mattifying one, but I'm using the smoothing primer. I have got this in the Isle of Doom at Sephora. Um, I think actually buying like these smaller travel size friendly products are really good because especially since I quit my internship and I don't really have any like consistently income of money, I don't really have the freedom to just buy the full size. And I find that um, I tend to use this completely within the time frame. Like, you know, a lot of uh, products you can only use within the year and then it's considered like expired. And a lot of times when I buy the full product, like the full size, I don't really use it up within the year. One, it can start to not work very well or because it's expired, my skin can get kind of irritated. Yes, this is very similar to the Porefessional. Um, it just kind of is smoothing out my pores. I, mean, I don't know how it looks compared to the Porefessional because this is my first time using this. But it feels very similar, very kind of silky, silicone-y texture. It feels like I'm not really wearing any. It just like glides on like there's nothing there. So I hope I got everything in today. Today's Thursday, so next Tuesday I start school and right before school I'm actually going on a church retreat. So for a few days I won't be able to film any videos, which is why I'm trying to film this today. Basically since I got back from Florida I've been just non-stop editing. I've uploaded a lot of my um, vlogs that I've been wanting to upload. Yeah, it's it's really fun actually. I really like doing vlogs because it's like a diary. I can look back and see, like visually see what you know it was like back then instead of just reading. Sometimes I don't have time to write a daily diary and I'm horrible with writing diaries. Um, I don't know, it's just I can't seem to remember to do diaries or journals. I usually, I call them diary but it's pretty much a journal. Like I consider a diary something you put like your deepest darkest secrets in and a journal is just like what you did that day. I write more of a journal. So anyway, like I said, school starting soon so I'm gonna go to the library today and also the bookstore to see what type of books I need for this upcoming semester. One of my teachers already emailed me saying that the first day of um, class we're gonna start class. Because usually the first week of class is syllabus week, so you just go to class for about like, you know, 30 minutes, read the syllabus, have a teacher go over any questions or um, any of the rules, answer any questions, and then, you know, you just leave and come back next class period, and then that's when you start class. <sighs> I don't know what I got myself into. I think the class of starting early is a psych psychology st statistics. I've taken a statistics class both in high school and when I got into college. I guess a lot of my schools that I'm planning on, a, you know, that I applied to, require me to take this uh, psych 10, which is, I think it's psych 10. It's the psychology statistics and I don't know, I don't really see, like, why can't you just take one of them, like, or do the same thing? Like, so statistics is statistics, like, I don't know why they want me to take another class. Okay, so I think foundation is pretty much rubbed in. Oh shoot, my beauty blender started. I'm gonna go wash it real quick. So just blending this in. Mm, it's time for lunch. I've been having trouble right here. It's just, I don't know. My skin's not really liking me these days. Okay, so I think, I mean, it's my foundation's not perfect, but I think it's good enough. I'm not really too picky about covering just because Today I'm only going to the library and to the bookstore and I mean, school hasn't even started yet so there's probably not that many people so I don't really need to worry about bumping into anyone I know. Okay, let's put this away. Okay, so eyebrows. I have an issue with my eyebrows. Like, I can never get it to look right. I don't know why. Like, it's either too thick or too thin or the shape isn't right. I don't know, I just have such a big problem with my eyebrows. I can never get it to look right. And when it is, you know, perfect for, you know, for the first time in like ever, 
it's only like that for three days and then whatever I groomed my eyebrows it starts to grow back and it just oh, it's a never ending issue I used to be really into the straight brow look and I tried it on myself for a while I don't think the straight brow looks good on me I think it just looks like a fat caterpillar on my eye there are a lot of people who it looks really good on them and it suits them really well but for me I think just my face structure or maybe just because I'm half white it just I think the slightly arched brow looks a little bit better on me focus anyway so like I said I'm going on a retreat tomorrow um, I'm trying to get as much uh, footage uh, edited so that by the time I get back and I get into like this the you know crunch of school and get into you know the motion of going to school and blah blah that um, I'm not gonna fall behind again on uh, editing so now that I have it basically filled in I'm going to kind of blend it out so it's not too harsh of a line it's super cloudy today I I don't like cloudy weather. Oh well, yeah, so when I went to Florida, I think it was in the Keys. I was in the Keys for a few days and I lost my camera charger. So my camera charger comes in two parts. There's the wall plug and then there's like a USB and the part that connects to the camera. I lost the USB cord, so <laughs> um, I had to buy another one. I went like crazy trying to look for a... Um, yeah, I went online at Sony because my camera's Sony to see if they sold any replacements and online I couldn't find anything about replacement chargers, whatever. All I could find was like, you know, something about cameras or like the lenses or something and I don't know. I don't know why they don't have it. So then I'm like, okay, I'm going to go to the store and just, you know, walk in and buy it because they have to have it at the store. So, okay, a few days ago, you know, I walk into the shopping mall and I look on the directory no matter where I look, I cannot find a Sony store. So I'm like, okay, I'm tired of standing. So there's like this um, brochure style directory. So I just grabbed one of those and went over to a bench, sat down and was looking through it and I couldn't find it anywhere like the Sony store. There was no like, a theme, like electronic store or something that um, fit with Sony. So I'm like, okay, I have to be just overlooking it and I have to be, you know, being stupid and brain farting and I can't find it. So I went to the index where it just had like everything by alphabetical order. I went to S and there was no Sony. So I'm like, what the hell? So I'm like, I went online, went into store locator. There is no store locator. I just found out this year that Sony recalled or shut down a lot of their stores. Basically, they're not having physical stores, but they still are going to do stuff online. And I'm like... Okay, what the heck is this? I'm gonna pause the story right here. I'm gonna use the Chanel um, Ombre Contrast Duo. It's in berry and rose. It looks like this. I washed all my brushes yesterday, so like I looked over to my brush holder thing and there was like nothing here. It's like bare. So let me go get Eyebrows. This is my favorite eyeshadow brush. It's the Duo Ended Urban Decay Naked 3 brush that comes with the Naked 3 palette. But I don't know, I love the shape of the brush. Anyway, back to my story. So I'm like, okay then, I'll try again online to see if I can find the replacement charger. And I went online and same thing when I first looked, there was nothing, nothing there. And then I went on to like Amazon and there was a lot of very similar looking ones to what I had. But the reviews were very kind of questionable. They were only at like 3.5 stars or something. It was either a 5 star or a 1 star that was ever given to any of the, you know, the sellers that I looked on. I was like, I don't want to pay all this money to find out it doesn't fit or doesn't, you know, it isn't compatible to my camera and have to go through all the process to return again. My camera was running out of battery, so I had to get the expedited shipping or the same day shipping and I got it the next day because I ordered it kind of late night. So I got it last night, but it came at 9 o'clock p.m. and I'm like, eh, I don't wanna go out and get my charger. So I went this morning, got it. And what I like about this is it's twice the length of the original charger cord thing. So I don't have to have the phone like right next to the outlet. So that's what I have to do. I had to put it on the floor before. Oh, so I washed my uh, brushes in like a really long time. I forgot what it feels like to do makeup with clean brushes. It's like so soft. So I really like this pink. It's really hard to show on camera, but it's very, very subtle. I mean, you can see it if you're in person looking at me, but I think on camera it's kind of hard to see. I'm going to take this e.l.f. contour brush. It's like a dome 
shaped um, eyeshadow brush and I like to use this for contouring. So I'm just gonna take some of this plum, plum shaded eyeshadow and put it on the outer corners of my eyes. So I've been pretty much charging my phone all morning. And the thing is, I can't film while the camera is charging, so I had to wait for at least the camera to get about 50% to film this. So while I was waiting for my camera to charge, I was editing some videos, and I think I finished like three videos right now. Uh... So I did this look a long time ago, probably around the same time last year. Except I got a lot of really positive feedback from like family and friends saying like it was so pretty. How did you do that? Um, so I kind of wanted to do it again, but I don't know if I'm doing it properly So I like to get this kind of like a V shape because when it's time to do eyeliner It's kind of easy to follow the contour line of the eyeshadow and to make the cat eye wing You just keep blending so for me, when I blend my eyeshadow, don't press hard to the point where you, like your eye or your skin is kind of moving with it. You can do super light. The lighter you go, actually that's better because the brush is grabbing less of your skin and more of the eyeshadow. So it's good to be very like feather light because one, your skin won't prematurely like sag or wrinkle. And two, it's less like irritating for your skin to do it super light. I think my right eye is good. Um, this is what it looks like so far. <laughs> now I need to fix this side, get it more of a V shape. I'm just wondering, I want to ask you guys, what do you guys think of me doing makeup tutorials? Not really like tutorials, but just makeup looks, I guess. I've been thinking about this lately where instead of just doing beauty product reviews, I can do makeup looks. I don't know, I think it'd be fun, but I know in the beginning when I created this channel, I was making it clear that I'm not a beauty tutorial channel. So, I don't know. I mean, if you guys would like me to do tutorials, then of course I'll give it a try. I don't know. I'm just thinking about it because I think it would be really fun. I think my eyes are pretty much done. I know right now it looks kind of weird because I haven't finished with like the eyeliner. So a few days ago, I've been testing out these two eyeliners. It's the ink liner and the tattoo liner from Kat Von D. They're both in the shade Trooper. I just wanted to see the difference between the two because, I mean, it's the same color, same brand, same designer person, but just different, I guess, products. So I wanted to see the difference. The other day though, when I tried it out, I didn't have any eyeshadow primer on or any eyeshadow. So I just had it on my bare naked eyelids. So I want to see it again with um, actual eyeshadow and eyeshadow primer on my eyelids. My camera overheated and I didn't even notice that <laughs> it stopped filming. I did kind of a very dramatic eyeliner look. And because I extended the eyeliner look out a little bit more, I'm gonna try to blend it into the bottom line with a brown. Okay. Mm. So because the outer corners of my eye are very, very, very heavy with dark uh, colors, I'm gonna try to balance it out with some very, you know, pearlescent inner corners. I'm gonna draw it really heavily on the inner corners and extend it onto the lash line. It can get kind of a uh, chunky looking. I'm gonna use my fingers, hopefully warm it up a little bit, and kind of blend this out. I think on camera it looks really good, but in person I look kind of scary and fierce. <laughs> it smells very nice. Actually, it's 
smells kind of reminds me of like Windex. <laughs> So maybe not very nice. I thought it kind of smelled it smelled fruity at first, but the after scent is kind of like Windex. I find that applying this directly to the cheeks is the best way to get results. And this is literally just a chick, chick, cheek stain. Sorry guys, I'm wearing my retainer right now just because I noticed my teeth were kind of moving around a bit. So I might say words a little differently and strangely. So when it comes to cheek stains, I like to keep it directly on the apples of my cheeks and then just use a beauty blender to kind of blend this out and it just gives you a very naturally flushed look I don't know if you guys can tell um, so my right cheek has nothing my left cheek has the cheek stain so it looks like this So because my eyes are pretty heavy, I'm going to use um, one of my favorite nude lipsticks. It's kind of a pinky nude, but I like it still. So, oh, oh, wow. I seem to have put this on over another lipstick, so it looks kind of red. Here, you guys can see that. <laughs> So I like this color because it's a nude lipstick, but it doesn't like wash my lips out to make it look like I'm a dead person. So it still gives you a little bit of color, but it's not too overpowering because my eyes are very dramatic and bold and strong. You don't want to, you know, distract with um, strong lips as well. So this is my makeup look today. I have a very, very, very strong eye look. I'm not used to this type of eye look, so this is definitely out of my comfort zone. Um, if you guys are wondering, I'm wearing this like turtleneck um, sweater sh long shirt from Forever 21. And actually, uh, it's a very long shirt. It comes down to like mi uh, mid thigh, and there's a really high slit. And then in the back, it even goes longer. So. And I'm just wearing leggings underneath because I don't want to be too tied up with a thick jean. Alright, so I guess that's my look. Okay, I have to go to the library now. Um, I actually haven't left the house yet, even though I was planning on right after eating lunch going to school library. It was because I was going to see if I can upload this video. It's taking about, it's at 189 minutes, so I'm like, okay, we'll see if this like goes down. And I waited like maybe two hours it's three o'clock right now so i was eating and it was uploading i even i watched two episodes of tv of bones my favorite tv show and still there's no it didn't it, it hardly went down it went to 89 minutes but it was i mean it's gonna take all day so i'm gonna try it again tonight um, see if maybe the uploading speed is faster. I don't know why it's taking so long. Like I've never had an issue with uploading videos and it taking this long. I can't explain it. Anyway, so um, I'm just gonna go to the school bookstore and the library right now. <laughs> This one I already have, remember? That one's I bought it, so I'm gonna be clear. So let me definitely need to this one. Yeah. So you think you can get it here? Uh, email. Or Amazon or another side to design it? I would just prepare for both. Yeah. And try to figure it out. Like, why don't I have one? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, this is something that I haven't done in a long time, this type of a look. I don't remember doing this style eyeliner ever, so this is definitely outside of my comfort zone, but that's kind of the point. Alright, if you guys want to, um, I guess replicate this look, please let me know so that, um, you know, just so I know if you guys want to do this look. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below if you are going to try this look out, or if you guys would like me to do any type of, um, makeup tutorials I guess in the future I I really want to try I don't know I've just been thinking about it so let me know your your thoughts in the comment section below on whether or not I should do kind of tutorial um, type look videos in the future and if you're new to my channel please subscribe 
I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!